Facebook ad post IDs. What are they? Why are they important? And how do I actually use them in my ad account? Let's dive into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Spencer here. If you're new to the channel, I run a growth-focused agency by the name of EZA Media, where we help multiple six and seven-figure Shopify brands scale their sales profitably. Now, today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to find post IDs for your Facebook ads in 2023 and beyond, and explain briefly why post IDs actually matter and why you should spend the time to watch the rest of this video to know how to get post IDs and use them inside of your Facebook ad account. Now, if you've ever seen an ad doing well and you duplicate it in your ad account and you paste it across all your different ad sets or you paste it in that main scaling campaign and for whatever reason it just doesn't perform a lot of the time it's because you're starting that ad from zero and a great way to avoid starting your ad from zero is by using what is called a facebook post id now to simply define a facebook post id a facebook post id is a unique id that is attached to each and every single post or ad that is made inside of face basically it's how facebook keeps track of the post on its platform now before i dive in i show you how to get a post id let me quickly explain why it's actually important so number one whenever you run an ad typically that ad gets engagement engagement meaning likes comments and share an ad with a lot of likes comments and shares will 9.9 .9 times out of 10 stop a user better and deliver more results compared to an ad that has absolutely no engagement on it at all you have to remember that facebook's goal is to keep users engaged on their platform they don't want people to leave they want people to stay so if they can find advertisers that put out ads that actually get people to stay and engage even though it's an ad Facebook will absolutely love you for doing that. And you have to think about it as well. If you're scrolling through your Facebook feed and you see some kind of post, whether you know it's an ad or not, that has thousands of likes and thousands of shares and hundreds of comments, you're probably going to stop. So not only do ads with engagement get you on Facebook's good side and can sometimes help lower your CPMs, it also gets people to stop. And when people read the comment sections and you have comments like, oh, I love this product or I just bought one, it's great. You better believe that's going to help your ad succeed. From a logical standpoint, you're spending all this money on this ad to start getting engagement and getting all these likes and in front of all these people if that ad is doing well and you want to scale it further you might as well grab that post id that you just spent a hundred a thousand or ten thousand dollars on to continue to get more engagement and continue to scale for your business so with that rant aside hopefully now you have a better understanding of why post ids are so important for your facebook ads for the rest of this video i'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show exactly how you can start using post IDs in your Facebook ad account. All right, so as you can see, we are now inside of our Facebook ad account. Now, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is click into your campaign. Now, if you're following our one campaign structure, then you're gonna notice that when you click into your campaign, obviously we're gonna be pulling this post ID from a dynamic creative test. But if for whatever reason, you're not following this one campaign structure and you have your own testing campaign, number one, make sure you go watch my video on why you should be using a one campaign structure in your ad account. But two, make sure you click into your testing campaign for wherever that you're testing your creatives and for the certain ad that you want to pull a post ID from. Now, again, for us, we use a dynamic creative testing method. So what we're going to do is then click into our DCT and you'll notice that there's only going to be one ad inside of here. But again, if you had three or four different ads that you were testing inside of here, make sure you click on the ad that is doing the best. And when I say doing the best, that typically means the ad that's getting the most spend and has the best performance. But for us, we're going to click this DCT we're going to click this preview button up here and we're going to go over to the share button and we're going to click Facebook post with comments. And once that loads, you'll notice it's going to load actually a few different combinations. Now, this DCT has been running for a while, so we have three I think almost four or five different variations with tons of engagement on them. But you'll notice that Facebook is actually ranking these in order of what has the most amount of engagement. So for this ad right here, it has 944 likes, 211 comments, 190 shares. This is a fantastic ad. And as I mentioned in the beginning, we got really great comments here. Love them for my daughter, right? That's what we want to see when people are scrolling through our ads and they start reading the comments. We want to see that, that positive feedback from customers so that they know this is a great product. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to click the date right underneath the client's name and you'll notice that there's going to be a string of numbers that comes up here that says you know the client's name post or your brand's name post and then the number 
what you're going to do is you're going to copy this number and you're going to go back into ads manager and be use that as your post ID. Now there are going to be a few scenarios where this is not the actual post ID for the ad. So I'm going to show you a workaround for that in a second. But once you have your post ID, you're obviously going to want to go into your champions campaign or your scaling ad set. You're going to create a new ad, paste in the post ID or however you want to name it. You're going to go down to add setup and you're going to click use existing post. And then underneath here, you'll see enter post ID. And this is exactly where we want to paste that string of numbers. And you'll know you've done it right when you see all the same engagement in your preview window that you originally saw while you were grabbing this post ID. Now, once you've pasted that in, you're completely done. So Facebook is now going to continue spending on this post and all this amazing engagement is going to maintain on your winning ad. And it's only going to get better and better the longer that you let it run. Now, I did mention that you might run into an issue when grabbing that post ID. So we're back into another account here. Again, our single campaign setup. We're going to jump into actually one of our newest winning DCTs from one of our clients. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to click onto our DCT. We're going to click preview. We're going to go to the share and we're going to click Facebook post with comments. And once you get here, you might be like, oh, there's that number that I need to copy. And you're going to copy it. And you're going to go back to your ad account. You're going to click into your winner's campaign. You're going to get down to use existing posts. You're going to enter that post ID, click the check mark, and it's going to say this is not the post ID. So when this happens, you're going to have to do a little bit of extra work, but it's really not that complicated because Facebook is always changing things on their back end and some pages are different than others. What you're going to need to do in this situation is you're going to click back on this post and you're going to copy this snippet of text on the top ad. And I'll get to why you copy this in a second, but just click on this top line of copy or whatever top line of copy that you have, or just the first 50 to 100 characters. You're going to copy this and you're going to go back to your ad account and you're going to click all tools. Once you click into all tools, you're going to scroll down until you see page post underneath. And once you click on page post, you're going to see underneath there's a section called ad post. And when you click in this ad post, you're going to go into the search bar up here and you're going to paste that line of text that you just copied. Now, again, it's super important to make sure that you still have this ad pulled up so you can remember 92 likes, 33 comments, two shares. Okay, got it. And if we go back into the ad post section now, you'll notice that there is going to be some videos that start popping up. And you might be wondering, well, what freaking video is it? Typically, it's going to be the one that is closest to the top for whatever video that you're actually running. So as you can see, with one click, I now found the ad that I'm looking for, which has 92 likes, 33 comments, and two shares. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy the ID for this post, and this will actually be the ID that you use in the account. Now, one thing I want to call out for all of you using the 322 method or leveraging dynamic creative tests to test your new ads, you'll notice that I actually didn't use the breakdown tool to find the winning combination. What I actually did was just take the ad that had the most engagement. Now, this is something that we're still actively testing at our agency. And the reason for that is because we've noticed that whenever we grab a certain combination of best tech, best headline, and best visual, sometimes that doesn't always lead to the best combination. And whenever we grab that combination and put it into our scaling ad set, we'll notice that sometimes that ad gets zero spent. So what we've actually been doing is just grabbing the ads that have the most engagement that Facebook currently sees in that DCT that is doing the best and grabbing that ID as the winning ad to put in our ad set. If you have further questions on this, make sure you drop a comment down below and I'd love to keep you up to date with how this strategy is going. But I just wanna jump in super quick for all my DCT users out there to explain why I did it that way rather than the breakdown method. Let's get back to the video. Another good thing to do is just check the date as well. So for example, if we go back, we can see this was launched August 21st. So if you get into your ad account and so you can see we're actually in the process of launching some new ads that these were posted on the 24th. This one was posted on the 26th. So this one is probably the ID that we're looking for. But with that said, you're gonna go back into your ad account now. So just click the little hamburger menu up here, click ads manager, make sure you click into the campaign section. And then again, we're gonna go into our champions or winners ad set. We're gonna click create. We're gonna paste in that post ID that we just found. Go to ad setup, click use existing post, enter the post ID down here, click confirm. And just like that, you'll see you've now got that winning post ID. It took a little bit of extra work, but again, you're still able to find it and you're still able to get all the benefits of using post IDs in in your ad account. And that's it. That's all that you need to do in order to get post IDs from your creative test 
into your actual scaling campaigns to start scaling your ads further and ultimately make more sales. Now, if you appreciate this video, make sure you click the like button down below and consider subscribing for some of our videos where I dive a little bit more deeper to the strategy of how we help our clients grow their businesses further. And as always, if you are a multiple six or seven figure Shopify brand looking for the help of a growth focused agency, make sure you book a time with me down below to get a custom action plan for your business. With all that said, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you next week.